everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm just near Wisley Common and I'm on the River Wye, the River Wye Navigation, built in the 1600s and one of the first canals in the country. It's a lovely walk. We've been here before. I did this two years ago, a little bit of the walk around Newark Priory. Um, I thought we'd have a quick look, walk look around as it's a lovely day today in March. We've got pub lunch at the Anchor, just over there, and uh, Pyreford Marina. And uh, let's go and have a look at the lock. Let's go. Love that old sign. That's going back a bit. Maybe 1930s, probably. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Opened in 1653, end of the longest man-made section of navigation. 1653, isn't that incredible? Uh, we'll look at the boats on the other side of the, of the bank. There you go, Riverway Navigation, Priorford Lock. Created in the 17th century to meet the demands of an industrial nation. This early navigab navigable waterway runs for nearly 20 miles through the heart of Surrey. Chertsey, Thames Lock, up near the River Thames, down to Godalming, through Guildford, Send. I'm, we are here. We are here. Sorry, the sun's right in my eyes. I feel quite cool living on a narrow boat. I've had friends live on narrow boats. Obviously not much room, but... Uh, and Richard Vobes, the board explorer, Richard Vobes and uh, Julia have been out on canal trips. Um, looks a lot of fun actually, a lot of fun. So this must go right down past Newark Priory. Oh, sorry, I'll link that video below. With lovely, lovely boats here. Incredible. Lovely sunny day. Ready for some lunch. It's a bit more windy than I expected actually. I've got a wind muff on. And of course, the golf course over there, they're mowing the lawn on the golf course. Every time I switch a camera on, someone's mowing or sawing something down. <laughs> That's crazy. Esprit Way Navigation. Lovely. I'm assuming, because I know nothing about narrow boats, I'm assuming they're moored here for good. Do they move? Do they go for a little wander? Or is that their plot and they stay there? A lot of them look like they stay there. Um, if you're into narrow boats, do let me know. Once again, I know a little cat scans, a little um, about anything, really. It's Thursday, the 2nd of March today. Um, it was my birthday yesterday, but I don't really celebrate birthdays. Um, and I thought there'd be more people out actually along this. This is a, a very well-known walking trail, but there isn't. The pub looks full, which I'm looking forward to. Don't want to have yet. Um, yeah, I thought there'd be more people out walking or with their dogs or what have you, but uh, doesn't seem to be the case. Up here far enough. I'm going to head back. 
go past the pub a bit and just on a little bit further the other side near the lock and the uh, marina let's see what's down there how's that sound let's go there's a nice little footpath you can go through it goes through the golf course public footpath it's here oh it's bright you love it when spring starts coming in um, as you start playing in these trips and videos I'm going to do for the summer lots more exploring to do and abroad I really need to start working out some foreign trips yeah it just goes up there we're not going we're not going up that way I just wanted to quickly show you you know we'll go back to the lock the pub we're going into in a minute it's lovely, what a lovely atmosphere it is here. I love that, give you a little wave from the boat. <laughs> so that's the Pirate of Marina, if you saw at the beginning of the video. We actually make a nice walk over a couple of couple of days. Twenty miles, you know, ten miles, maybe two days, ten miles each. I mean, it's pretty straight walking along the way. I do like linear walks. So you can get back to the car. Oh, it's getting hot now. It's almost t-shirt weather, which I like saying on the second of March. It's almost t-shirt weather. It's a bit fresh when I started out this morning. Um, yeah. So when they built this in 1653, where did they source the water from? Well, that would have come from the Thames. Would it come from the Thames? I'm just curious about that. Once again, anyone knows about these things, do let me know. Any civil engineers or historians? I mean, I know Surrey is full of underground springs, but that wouldn't have fed the river. That's a different thing, surely. When I was doing my video over at Pyford Church, St Nicholas over there, I was calling it Pryford all the way through the video. A few people corrected me, it's Pyford. People get really upset if you pronounce, well actually that wasn't pronouncing something wrong, it's just me mis misreading the spelling. Um, but yeah, people get very territorial if you um, pronounce place names wrong. I had that recently at, um, in Kent, but the spelling looks nothing like how it's pronounced. That dirty windscreen. Watch the car, Mark. So let's have a quick uh, drink of the old coffee. And uh, now I think it's lunchtime at the Anchor. I think this is a very, very, very popular uh, pub. Um, it's already packed in there and it's only like half 12. But um, yeah, looking forward to lunch. Let's go. Where you are the blinds put down You love it when nobody's around I wanna call out pound town But you bite my lip, don't make a sound I'll be down if I'm leaving without you mm. 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 Well that was a lovely lunch in the Anchor One of my favourite pubs already What a lovely pub, but very bivvy I was talking to the uh, lady who worked there. She said, you know, people just turn up on a Sunday thinking they can get a table. I booked ahead. But what a nice pub, I'll, I'll come back here. So there, a little walk along the way navigation as I was here in the area doing some filming. Please like, subscribe, all that normal stuff we do on YouTube. And we'll see you next time. Take care, have a great day.